as you know, Costa Rica has been committed. Many, many years ago, we made the decision what type of tourism we wanted to develop in the country. And we are developing sustainable tourism into the country. Our product is based more on small and medium-sized companies. And we are really looking forward to continue with that type of development. This really means that the wealth that tourism produces really gets into the communities and it really creates a better quality of life for the Costa Ricans. So this is what we want to continue doing in Costa Rica through the development of tourism. Any specific programs mapped out that's, that's going to accomplish that? Yes, we are now measuring the success of tourism in the country with the IPS index, the Social Progress Index. This is something that is really allowing us to understand how tourism is improving the quality of life of the different communities. We are now putting a lot more emphasis on the cultural aspect of our product. We are having, we are having a, um, an alliance with the Ministry of Culture where we are really working with her in order to develop better products, products that has a lot more authenticity that we know is what the world is looking for, really very authentic experiences. For example, in the gastronomy part, we are developing like classes, like cooking classes on how to do tortillas or a class on how to do some pottery in Guanacaste or how to do some handicrafts in different parts of the country. At the same time, including um, the music, uh, the, the art and other aspects that Costa Rica is very strong but maybe was not included in the whole experience and the whole product that we were selling. And how would you deliver that? Would this be a centralized or would you take this and, and, and uh, pass it on to the various hospitality uh, uh, providers and attractions and, and have them pass us on these experiences. This would be more like working with the different hotels and communities and really putting in value different aspects. Let's say in Turrialba, let's put an example. In Turrialba we have a lot of poets that were born there, very famous Costa Rican poets. So how can we include that into the experience? We can have in the restaurants some young guys and girls uh, doing poetry when you are going to have some dinners or we can have the poems uh, written on the menus. I mean, it's how can we start doing the, all the Costa Rican product that has to do with nature um, include a lot more cultural aspects authentic experiences and what Roberto is doing in Pacuare Lodge is something that is, is really showing that. At the same time, he's really being very innovative, like how to have this five courses meal in the middle of the rainforest. So, because we're talking about experiences, this is what uh, travelers that are visiting Costa Rica want to have. It's not going to any beach in the world and just eating and drinking. I mean, this is not what Costa Rica is about. It's really learning, it's really growing as a person, it's really having the opportunity to, to share with the locals, to share with the communities, to do a little bit of voluntarism, to go and help paint a school, do some tests for the kids 
some English classes for the children in the schools because we believe that tourism really need to have this human connection. And the volunteerism will, will yes. afford that opportunity, huh? to work hand in hand. Yes, and it, 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 and it doesn't have to be a trip only on volunteerism. It, right. If you come with your family, that's an extended family, with your children and grandchildren, and we have a lot of those families, we love families. The opportunity for a child to go to a school and paint a desk for another child or to have the opportunity to be there and play and so I think what really makes Costa Rica special is that people come because of our nature but they come back because of our people and the human connection that we are able to, to have between the tourists and the local, people really believe that uh, at the end, they are not tourists, they are friends. So that's very important for us. Let's go back to uh, getting the tourism economy, the benefits of it, spread out to more people in the community. The challenge for us has been that we are developing tourism all over Costa Rica. It's not an enclave, it's not in one part, it's all over the country. If you have like a map with the dots where all the small hotels and lodges are, you take off the map, you will have the map there. Because it's, uh, it's, it's, it's really scattered all over the country and of course it gives us some challenges, we have some challenges they, uh, because sometimes it could be easier to develop something just in one, in one spot. But for us, the opportunity that the tourist dollar is really spread throughout the country, it really gives employment, the opportunity to have a better quality of life of the, of the locals. And this brings me to, to to the decision we make on how to measure success on tourism. That is not only on the number of tourists that are arriving or the percentage of the GDP that we represent, that actually is 8.2%, but more the quality of life, how tourism can improve the quality of life of our people. And that is our main goal, how to, how to measure that we already have a way. That is through the social progress index. We use this measure to really see, and we are able to prove that in the tourist areas we have a much better quality of life than in the rest of the country. For them. Yes. Thank you so much, Minister. You're welcome, and really hope that you can come to Costa Rica and enjoy our nature and the warmth of our people.